Political correctness is about franchising the content that people are able to express while standardizing the manner in which they deliver it. Um, this inherently stultifies diversity of views and debate because it gives people no way to identify and address issues and conflicts that are outside the politically correct agenda. This is therefore merely a palliative and cosmetic solution. But if you take a step back and you look at the purpose and utility of political correctness, it's to ensure mutual respect. And you can actually recognize a historical trend whereby, for example, women and minority groups have earned, uh, have changed their position within society as they earned the respect that they were entitled to. Um, in light of society's recognition of its past mistakes and the fact that social and moral values are continuously evolving, and therefore the boundaries of what, of what is socially acceptable are anything but static, one can see the value of adopting a more macroscopic view of political correctness, whereby which is more mindset-centered and less focused on the content. So the only limiting factor would be whether the view expressed offends someone's human integrity and not whether it hurts someone's feelings, especially in light of the fact that morality is completely subjective. This would offer an excellent system of checks and balances as it encourages diversity of views. Um, it illustrates the strengths and deficiencies of arguments and it makes sure that in light of recent technological, environmental, social and economic developments in which we recognize the inherent dangers, we get a full uncensored, uncensored um, spectrum of views.